So when the vaccine first became available, uh, I did not want to get it. You know, what do we know about this? It's brand new. Uh, we don't know long-term effects. We don't know side effects. I just felt like, why am I going to be the clinical trial? You hear everything on the news. You see everything on social media. You hear pressures from your family, pressures from your friends. It was very hard for me to understand what is truth. And I wasn't going to make a decision until like I knew. I started to realize that what I was seeing right in front of me on the unit, working face to face with COVID, um, that some things had changed. We were seeing a younger generation of patients who are coming in where it used to be 65 and older with comorbidities. That was, you could guarantee that that was the group that was most affected. And now you see 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, sometimes comorbidities, sometimes not. But what I had noticed caring for these patients and knowing their background, knowing their history, was that the ones who were vaccinated had better outcomes. I think that was a little scary because it was opposite of everything that I had just been standing for. When my kids influenced my decision um, because I started to see that there were patients that I was personally treating who were in a very similar position as myself. You know, young mother of two, uh, unvaccinated, and wound up very severely ill. I'll never forget her, and I remember the fear in her eyes. I remember, you know, she had said to me, uh, what about my kids? You know, what about my kids? And I just felt like I don't want my family to ever have to go through what I know her family is going through now. And it just, it just hit me, you know, and almost in an instance, it was like I had this clarity. So the day that I got the vaccine um, was the day that I was finding out that, you know, young mom of two, she was not going to make it. And it was very unfortunate to have lost a patient so young and to think about uh, what that family is going through today. And I said, and I just, I don't want my family to be in that position. I feel so bad. And I just cried and I said, I can't, I feel so bad for her family. I just, I, my heart goes out to them. And, and I said, I think I, I just know what I need to do now. This is what's really happening on the front lines. We are seeing young, we are seeing vaccinated, do get sick and come in, but they're not as sick and they're going home. And we are seeing unvaccinated come in and we are seeing them very sick and some of them do not go home. It was like I knew I made the right choice. And, I, and for the first time I went home and I was like, <sighs> or I could just breathe.